Good evening everyone, today we've got a bonus stream where I am going to play a bit of Genshin Impact with my Catalyst Only account. I, I kind of feel like it. And good evening to Kano, how you doing? I see you coming in. I think first things first. Um, some of you may have noticed I now have a Yarn Fang. What happened was I was a little bit dumb and I went into my wishes and was seeing how many, how many primos I had. Instead of pressing B, I pressed A and wished for instead of exiting because my controls have been mixed up because I've been playing some Switch and Switch has the A's and B's the other way around. So I pressed A, did a wish and got a Yanfei. It was... Not my intention to get her off camera, but whatever. We got a yarn fan now. Um, I have, yeah, I've been doing dailies, grinding up a bit. We've been able to beat the hyper lightning hyperstasis cube now because we now have a yarn fan to deal damage to it. Why does Barmer have the Wit Sith? Oh, that's right. Because I was doing this domain here for, for the Allen books for Yanfei. Speaking of which, we can level up Yanfei. Let's 
get some of these XP books into her. There we go. Then we can ascend. Do not seek to emulate the path. We get a, another wish. Hmm. Level up again. Let's see how far we can get Yanfei leveled. Now level 40. We can ascend, nice. Only by it. Get it to 50. There we go. Oh, that's right. I've got... I did a swap of artifacts with... Uh, with Barbara, so I could do the Domain Banner. There we are. Let's get... Uh, hang on, hang on. All right, Woodsith, you go on here. Barbara, you get the thrilling tales of dragon slayers. And you can have... Uh, elemental orb. On causing a vaporized, electrocharged, frozen, or hydro infused swell reaction. Oh, wait, that does nothing. We need swell reactions. Oh, wait, that's just a hydro infused swell. Is it? I don't know. I don't understand. You can, you can have that one. Alright, so I've got 33.8 crit on Yanfei, 33.5 on Lisa, and 21.7 on Barbara. And to ascend again, we need more of these fragments. We need six fragments. And ten two stars from treasure hoarders right, so 10 of these and we need six of these we've got four and we get more from the from the shop All the level ups. Now, right, what do you have to offer? Yes, we will take all of these, please. And that should be enough to get it to level 60. So we just need two. Hmm. And we now have all the requirements, so let's ascend. Grab another wish. And we'll level her up as far as we can.
There we go. Now we can do talents. Oh, we need to go farming for these sigils. Time to go treasure hunting. Nice. I'll take that. Alright, so... We can do these. Then we can transmute all of the materials we need. We can transmute the rest of these. We can transmute the rest of these as well. Right, we need more treasure hoarders. Let's go find some more treasure hoarders. Wait, that's not treasure hoarders. This is where we find them. Easy enemies. Are they not easy enemies? Oh, I clicked the wrong ones. Treasure hoarders. The case buff. Actually, let's uh, change the party up a little bit. This one, you want to say there? You there? And my healer we in slot three. Yeah, some treasure hoarders on the way. So much damage. Nice. The wrong test subject. I'm so strong here, I love it. Let's climb this tower, see if we can glide across to get that. Uh, Geoculus. Is a glide from here going to be enough? Hey, a treasure chest. We'll take you. Remarkable condition. Looks like it should be enough. Nice. Destroying these guys. Time for your arraignment. Now it's only a C one, uh, C zero yard base, so there's no extra additional power here.
Alright, where are you guys? Come hither, my minions. Minions to get destroyed. What you got? Come a little closer. You've been Ugh. Oi. <laughs> You've you been were meant to boy. take the damage. Let's dance. Boom boom! They take so much damage. Next on the map. Uh, we'll go live from up here, I guess. We also need to change our glider. Because this one looks cooler. Wait for our stamina to recharge a little bit. We'll start our long glide. it over without any hassle. Alright, where are you? Right there. Yeah. Dive on down on top of you. Blitz. Let the show begin. We just annihilate all of you. Make sure to grab all the sigils. Move to the next camp. Ooh, a chest. Uh, nothing up here. Closer. You're in for a little shock. Can you please chill on the attacks? <laughs> I'll protect us. I'm trying to destroy you all. Can we get the overload? Very nice. Now I do want to avoid do you think, that big cutie? one. I'm going to go over this way. Actually no, I can see some breakable rocks over there. So let's go antagonize him. Now we have a yarn fair, we can break the, break the rocks. You're in for a little shot. Let the show begin. All the overlays. There we go. Definitely write this off as incidental gains. Huh. I can see a chest inside here. Motion to compel. Throw these small slimes. Can 
definitely write this off as incidental gains. Yeah, there was a ceiling. There he is. All right, ceiling, where are you taking me? Where will you take me? Over here. I accept. Huh. Let's appraise the value on this. Wanna take my hammer? Another test subject. That tingle. I'll protect us. <laughs> Incinerate. <laughs> hey. Can you stop making me explode? Really annoying. There we go. I, I just want your sigils. You could hand them over to me peacefully. But no. You refuse and put up a fight. Hey, rabbit with the watch. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Try. <laughs> Let the show that begin. is good to hear. So you have caught me on a bonus stream. I don't normally stream this late at night. But I really fancied streaming, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And currently we are farming up some materials for Yanfei, so we can level up her talents. Rain! Oh, Lord of Geo, please do us a favor and clear this up at your earliest convenience. I submit that we cannot afford for the codices to get damp. Let's uh, climb this cliff. Yeah, my normal stream time is around about six hours prior to this. Let's uh, wait for this to recharge. There we are. You're always welcome to hang around, even if this isn't my normal stream time. Blitz. Uh, picked the wrong test subject. This is the kind of surprise I could sing about. Oh, seven a.m. is a bit early. You are uh, you're in Europe. Let's dance. Yeah, I'm in Australia, so it's currently 8.51pm for me. We'll take those. We got a book. I see some uh, geoculus stuff floating around. The one over here. Oh, I think that one's underground. Or up a tree. Can't find it. Well, what you can do is you can just um, you can grab the condensed resin, 
and save it for tomorrow because then you get to do a whole bunch of them for tomorrow where you can do any of them. I do that a lot on Saturdays. Just have a, a chill Saturday where I don't farm much, condense all my resin. And then on Sunday you get a good like eight condensed resins worth. Which is real nice. Ah, I can do this from yesterday. You could try doing some bosses. Face nice. Way better than having a Lisa. Oh, Geo, yeah, Geo Cube. But if you've got a strong lead, Geo Cube's not too bad because the uh, the pillars will destroy the destroy the Geo pillars quite quickly. Access to Inazuma, so I can't do Hydro Cube on this account. The Hydro Cube's not too bad. I think Pyro Cube is probably my least favorite cube. Remarkable condition. Let's see if this was enough. I think it probably might be. Yeah. Uh, Noblesse is nice for, for putting out some damage. Let's uh, convert these. Talents. And talent. Alright, we've got exactly enough. So we now have 444, 444, and 446. Why isn't that leveled? Need another pinwheel one. Need two pinwheels. I still slap my Bennett with uh, HP. My, my Bennett currently has, on uh, my main account, has HP attack on the first two artifacts. Yeah, so HP attack. And then he's got a, a Sens with HP and a Goblet with HP. And healing percent on his last one, and he just heals phenomenally. Monday, Thursday, Sunday. So I have to grab that tomorrow. So I think next we will do some story. We currently have four Archon quests active and we can't really do much until we do this one because these are all locked
Uh, Bennett's attack bonuses only applies to base attack. Base attack is your attack bonus that you get from level ups and your weapon. The attack that you get from artifacts does not apply to Bennett's attack boost. So these are the only two parts that matter with Bennett's attack bonus. Sometimes the law is compatible with human nature, but sometimes the two conflict. Balancing the two is a discipline in its own right. I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Important announcement, huh? Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. <sighs> the Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. <sighs> Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Ningguang's so pretty. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder cores and Adepti sigils. We will get them all. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. Nice. These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liuette Harbor's development plan for next year, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. This guy's voice sounds so sleazy. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um, I have some business to do. By Hong Fei. Oh, no, we better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber. This is a huge deal. Let's get involved. Let's do it. So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Can I really? Can I really ask you anything at all? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Maybe I can find out more about my sister. Really? Ooh, then Paimon will ask you about how to run a business! Hey, Kanaru, how you doing? Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again. <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. 
Once you have collected the materials, please take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please seek out my secretary. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we'd better get going. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look, it seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, I see a you shin, huh? seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingguang has set up. I love Shinha's hair. So pretty. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private. And we can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! Why don't you stand there after her? She will snap your neck. Oh, right, yeah. Let's chase them down. What is this? Geovishap, that's fine. We'll take our free Primo gem. Ah, children, come, come. This isn't what I'm after. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you. Oh, this is the teapot quest. A gift for Paimon? I only did as I should. <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That simply won't do. Especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. You have no idea. It is so long. Fortunately... I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. What subspace creation? Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then, it is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. I will not go into too much detail. But subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket, you say? So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Huh? But that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. What are the missing materials? That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. 
what's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what are those, if I might ask? Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the <coughs> roots of the glazed lilies. Excuse me? And if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Even more difficult to find is Maragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or so it used to be. Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. Nice. 24 hit points is... Not 24 hit points, 24,000 hit points. That's pretty good. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Ah, goodness knows if that child will succeed in finding these items. Who's this child? Well, since you're an adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an adeptus too, right? Well, Zhong Li probably has a, a HP bonus spear as well, doesn't he? And I think he gets hit point bonuses for level ups as well. Yes. Or ascensions, I, I should say, rather than level ups. Does count as an adeptus. She counts? How come there are so many adepti in Liyue Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an adeptus and never even know it. Yeah. So with Black Tassel, he's going to have a lot of hit points. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I have my Bennett with a Favonius sword. And back, Granny? Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you already heard of the Traveler and his traveling companion. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. That's right, level 70 is still pretty good. And you still got plenty of time to, to level it up to 90. And it will be a, a really big boost to Benny's boost as well. Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. Ah, what a shame. A shame? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes. Here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. All right, Yenfei. All right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. Yanfei just shilling her own business. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adeptus? Paima was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Um, okay. 
Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Lyra greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Whoa! That's a really thick book! What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. More. Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Krossel. A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. We'll come with you. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Wow, an adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. Yeah. It's best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. All right. So we can go back to this. Back to main story. They're not here. Hmm. Let's keep looking. Benny is a very good choice of a character to level up. <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some Mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Shane, huh? Kick their butts. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyue Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. Don't listen to your master. Beat them up. But here we are. Hmm, perhaps... Uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Look at how cool she is. Boss, I'm telling you something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. 
will sue her for everything she's worth. They're trying to trying to intimidate people into doing business. Oh, you again. The Millilith. What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? You ought to mind your own business. I swear. Silence. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. The Millilith takes away the hooligans with the surrounding, who was surrounding <sighs> the young lady. Don't worry, everything's okay now. Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is, well, Paimon. And this is Paimon. Travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. Yes, you should have done it. <gasps> you, you can't do that. That's way too violent. This is Lila Harbor. There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know. Laws. Have you not heard of the law, Shen huh? No, apparently not. Really? So, how exactly have you. Um, what was that noise? That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other. But only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry. So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm. Chingson, glaze lily, violet grass. These are my usuals. Those are all medicinal herbs. Hmm. Medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Hmm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shanghai -Huh there for a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach! Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? Maybe. It seems like it's her first... Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingson, glaze lily, and violet grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> Here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's really eating them! Nice. To everyone's astonishment, Shenha polishes off all the medicinal oh, herbs. My hunger has now abated. Hm. Thank you. How did they taste? Hmm. Rather awful. <sighs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. Enough, Mora. Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go. Good luck with that. Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. That proves it. Paimon knew she was an adeptus. Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right. Paimon almost forgot. We came out to take part in the Rebuild the Jade Chamber competition. And, and now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shen Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Your, your company is plenty of assistance. 
But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... I'm not sure why you assume that because she's from the mountains she's an Adeptus. Sure, then let's join forces. Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Um, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Mito! That is nice. not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Let's destroy them all. Then we will only be victors. Really? There will be no losers. But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? They, they didn't say we couldn't murder. Sunset Vermilion Knight, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. It is me. Bye, you. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How can Lady Ningguang need so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? Baiju is pretty cool. And he should be coming out relatively know. soon as well. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset Vermilionite? He's been he's been in the game for for since the beginning. So they don't need to do any character work, they just need to work out how Dendro works. And with Sumaru just around the corner. They, they've got to work out how Dendro works. Ah, the variety of Plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Seagate Sunset. Let's teleport. Here we go. Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu. Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Xingqiu. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Need some magic rocks. Xingqiu, have you ever heard of 
Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Mingguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truce? truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. That's a lot of money. 500 million? 500 million? That's so expensive. Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. But without any sunset vermilionite... Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? Never heard of them. Well, Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Lisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an adeptist? <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. We've been in one before. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, hey, Kim, how be you very doing? careful. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Xingqiu. You've caught me on a rare late night stream. <gasps> Good to see you doing all right. I am also doing it quite well myself. Yeah, yeah, one sec. Let me check a thing. My internet is being a little weird. It's not disconnecting me or anything, but it's... Decided to chug a little bit. Alright, let's see if that helps. Here we are. True redeem. Hope you're ready. Pikachu. There we go. Hope you enjoyed. Nice. Benny does seventy out of eighty. It means you can get your talents to level level eight. It's pretty good. Hmm, this place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! 
Hey, Akumo. Uh, welcome to stream. Please speak in English if you can. I do not speak any other foreign languages. But welcome to the stream. I'm glad you like it. Hey, look! Is that a new Sealy over there? Let's <laughs> chase down the Sealy. Yeah, I'm getting wet. Sea gazes abode. So it recommends we use ice and geo in here. Let's see how far we can go without it. Uh, what? Weren't we at a waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Adeptus magic. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset vermilionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Isn't that the Sealy from before? Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds! And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? What do you think, Shen, huh? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the adepti art. All right, then let's do it. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. That's right. It's a good thing I'm strong. What happens if we go into the clouds? Oh. Okay, it's just ground. It makes it easier. I'll protect us. Motion to compel. Just blow them all up. that. Slot it in here. <laughs> we need a charge attack to destroy this rock. And slot it in here. There we are. Not sure why that had to fly out. We're just going over here. Oh, we've got to destroy these first. Let's dance. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> we'll lighten you. Check on the rock. We can line it up. There we go. Place that in. It's all three. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Ah, not you. Keep 
pressing the wrong buttons. Blitz. Here we are. Let's pop the, pop the burst. The mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. There we go. I'll just keep on pounding the core. There we go. The mechanism is broken and the fog clears along with it. Is everyone okay? Oi. The ceiling has disappeared beneath the clouds again. Hmm. It looks like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Destroy these flames. A little slow, but we're getting there. Incinerate. Nice, we got a three K damage. to obtain. Let's dance. And we have destroyed it. I was surprised that didn't come to life earlier. Treasure chest over here. But often these dungeons do have chests. There we go. Only a common chest, but we'll take it. We'll touch it. you again 
Aha, <laughs> treasure chest. Yeah. Uh, leveling up characters, especially at higher levels, this is very more intensive. When I was triple crowning my Klee and my Yang Miko, that was a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the money goes very quickly, and a million doesn't stretch very far at high levels. You're in for a little. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> Motion to compel. Oh yes, look at all those overloads. Oh yeah, crowning is amazing. Like having your favorite characters do tons more damage is so nice. A little closer. Boom boom! Admissible evidence! I think I ended up crowning Kazuo's uh, skill and burst as well. Motion to compel! They had like 12 crowns, I'm like. There's no point holding on to these, I may as well just dump them onto the ones that I use. And yeah, can you stop please? I'm trying to kill you. For a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. I'll protect us. Let's try and heal up a bit. I don't have a GR, so I've never been able to use him in a team. I've used him for the trials, but that's it. Should jump these waves. Here we are. I'm excited for High Zero as well. Because with a High Zero, that will give me a fourth character in my. In, on this count. And if it's paired up with Klee, then it gives me a chance to get a Klee as well. Let's uh, heal up Yonfei a bit more. Look, over there! Could that be the sunset vermilionite? 
go over this way first. Oh, it won't let me go over this way. There's a wall here. I was like, that's a perfect spot to put a treasure chest. Slot you in there. Grab the exquisite treasure chest. And that puts us at the end of the dungeon. So is the J Chamber. That's true, but then again, why isn't it floating? Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Prostrate reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha, you seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. I wonder who this master is. Hold on a sec. Paimon just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky, too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Oh, Shin has a strong lady. Are you sure? Uh, be careful! Please, don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. It's your safety you have to be careful of. My safety? That's right! I'm unsure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You get smushed. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense. Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then... Thank you. I'll go on ahead with the Plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. How is Shenha able to carry that huge rock all by herself? We get the precious chest. Yeah. Adepti super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. All right. Oh, hang on, I've just had a... Uh, we, can, we can cancel this thing. Cancel navigation. But now that we've got a fire user, we can do this dungeon here. Let's do this real quick. So we'll take a little detour from the main story to get another key. No chest there. Let me just run through the fire, it doesn't matter. Incinerate. Blow that up. Now we've got to blow this one up. targeting that. Ah, oh, we got it. Did 
Just gonna clip it through the wall. And they obviously wanted us to use Amber there. These are dying so quick. We will destroy them all. Absolutely smash them. Treasure chests? No. Hmm. Do I need an archer here? I don't think I can complete this one. Unless... Can I just glide on over? Is there a way to respawned uh, where we want to be. We want to be over there. <laughs> Can I get higher? I'm not seeing a way that we can climb up. Oh, oh. All right, we can stand on there, which I just ran off. We need to get over there. Oh, that's a wall. Why would they do that? Can I... Clip under this. Now that's just a wall and it stops the glide immediately. Yeah, the instant I hit over there, it just... Well, Alright, I can't do this one. They're forcing you to use an archer. So let's not do that. I don't want to spend forever doing something I don't think I can even do. Let's go heal up. And in whatever animoculi we have. We have two. And we'll hand in whatever geoculus we have. I don't think it's many. Well, we've got 16, alright. We've got quite a few. There we are. Get a bit more stamina. Teleport to the harbour. <laughs> and return to the Jade Chamber worksite. Alright, 
there's a ramp over there that we can use. So let's make use of it. Up we go. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Uh, maybe. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm nice. going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. Yeah, but we do. I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? Yeah, it was. In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. You're excused. You may continue on with your work. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high and break into a big smug smile. I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, because that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive, too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh, Shenna? Are you all right? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. She said nothing of hotels. She said dwellings. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. If she can lift a rock that big, I'm sure she'll be fine. When you're hungry, you go and eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice comfy bed. Alright? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Guest accommodations are far more comfortable than the wilderness. Okay. If you insist. We do. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Um, I just jumped off for no reason. Up the ramps. And over this way. Talk to the hotel owner. Hi there. Hi. Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! 
great. One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Sure, huh? You should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. I could go for a chicken drumstick. Let's buy one for Shenhua too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Have a good rest, Shane, huh? Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey! Isn't that Cloud Retainer? What's she doing here? Let's go and say hi. Let's go speak with Cloud Retainer. Up we go. Up, up, and up. Hey, Cloud Retainer, it's been a while. One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? We are. So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Cool! So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead! Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? Special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh my. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? I thought so. What? You knew already? <sighs> so is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Yes, because Paimon's dumb. Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? methods are extremely direct and violent ah yes she was like this all those years ago when one first met her in this respect she has not changed one first found shanha by chance in a cave one was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains being of an ever vigilant disposition one entered immediately to inspect the scene Inside was Shen he, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally and are highly reliant on their parents for survival, but not so her. Shen he is strong. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the gods' wrath no worries, was gradually Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, and thanks for dropping by, continue. I appreciate it. One suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. Kubal! 
Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Leon. You know a sofa over. That's still so dangerous though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? And we'll do a stretch hydrate and posture check, so let's drink first. And stretch. <laughs> And I'll sit up nice and straight. Thank you for looking out for my health. And have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Catch you another time. Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. So when Shenha talks about her master, she means you? Indeed. It is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted Kupa! to practicing the Adepti arts. Dory is princess, thank you for the follow. Long well, lay on you now, so and so we willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It's okay. We will love her all the same. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you and take good care of her. We will. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shenha because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liu Wei and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. I will, thank you very much. So, Shen He isn't an Adeptus after all! She just... Then we're going to wait until morning the next day. And... Eight. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? Yes. How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you, so I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. After all, master is... 
Very talkative. That they are. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an adeptus this whole time, but it turns out Paimon was wrong. Because Paimon is stupid. It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. For this, I am very grateful indeed. Because you are a good friend. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real adepti too. Humble brag. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend. Whether you're an adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends. Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails in terms of what I have to do, I must say I like the title friend very much indeed. Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ningguang's little helper how the progress is going. Her secretary. After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Good. Shinha approves of chicken. Look, look! The Jade Chamber is floating into the sky! Um, but it seems to be tied down by something. Yes. That's because it's not finished. Hey, Paimon! And hey! Um, people Paimon doesn't know? Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the Jade Chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ningguang is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Nice. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Wait, I know you. You're the one who fought against the Fatuian Osile, right? I am. Well, sure enough, your reputation precedes you. I have beaten up a god. Pleased to meet you. I'm Beto, Captain of the Crux. Pleased to meet you, Beto. Beto? Are you here to join the Jade Chamber Contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. We got the biggest piece, though. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Greetings. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler. I'm sure you've heard of them before. And this is... Uh, sorry, I'm not sure we've met. This is Shenhe. Shenhe. I am there. Friend. <laughs> Good to meet you. Well, from today on, I guess all of us are friends. Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. 
That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. Wow. So it looks like the three of us are competitors now. Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I'm a winner. I have a proposal to make. Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. What do you think? Sounds great, but how does it change things exactly? It only takes one person to beat us, and it messes up your whole plan. <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plastrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. Interesting approach. Okay, then. All right, I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? Sounds good, let's go. Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay, let's go! By the way, what question are you gonna ask Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. You're going to waste an entire question from Ningguang. On her opinion on on a venue it seems dumb Ooh, what's the opera called Paima wants to go see it the opera is a labor of love by my father he wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus it's called the divine damsel of devastation All right, let's head back into the harbour. And I think I'm probably just going to end the stream here. It was a short stream, but it was also a bonus stream. And I'm pretty content with what we've got done today. We can pick this up again next time we play this. Let's flick over to the ending screen. And let's find someone to raid. Who is live? Oh, hey Neka, you've caught me right at the end. Good morning, Neko. No worries, chill. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to raid into Hamster Neko. And we'll grab our raid messages. So grab those. Copy that. And let them know we're here for a comfy time. And if you want to know when I go live again, feel free to check out my Twitter and Discord. I have a new schedule up on both of those platforms. And yeah. Next scheduled stream is on Monday where it is Yamiko's birthday. So I'm doing a special Yamiko birthday stream. Because I think it'd be fun. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night. And remember to keep it comfy.